Hi guys, right after a lot of requests I'm just going to show you how I've wired up the Prusa box that I've got. So Prusa box is there with the spool tank, I've just got a few things stacked up at the moment, they're not properly fitted in. But uh, there, there's the Prusa box, as you can see the, the front's all empty and the modular front is laid out there. So we'll go from the power supply through to the Raspberry Pi, uh, we've got the relay there. Uh, and we've got the temperature control unit, uh, cables for the fan, etc. So we'll go through step by step exactly what we've got, how I've wired it up, and we'll just uh, show you on the workbench it working, and then you'll be able to fit it in yourself. So to start off with, we'll 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 use the uh, the buck converter. So a little buck converter you can get that on Amazon just for a few dollars. It has uh, an input on the back, so I'll have a, a, a 12-volt power brick connecting to that socket there. And on the back there, we've got a, a positive and negative output we can use. I've put a, a small little positive cable in there with a clip and the negative here. And we'll follow the route of the negative cable. If I go back here, the negative cable goes to this bottom switch. So what I'm going to have is uh, this controlling my lighting. So I can manually override and turn on and off. So it goes to this switch here uh, on the bottom and on the top part the cable will now go along here all the way here and this is the connector for my uh, LED lighting. So that's the negative feed for the LED lighting. And I've got a positive cable for the LED. That's going to a relay. So I've actually got a, a relay as well, so I can control the lighting uh, via Octoprint to, to turn the lighting on once the print starts and turn it off afterwards. So that LED uh, cable is going to the normally open uh, socket there and then the center item from the relay that is going to go to uh, a positive feed and that will actually go to the buck converter. So we've got positive cable there positive feed coming into there and going to the LED. Now you'll notice that I've joined the positive so apart from the feed going to the LED it's going along here let's back out a little bit it's going through this switching section because it has to pass through and eventually it's going to come to the temperature control unit. So that's going to feed uh, a permanent positive into the temperature control unit. So let's have a look at the switches. I've got three switches here. They're not necessarily all being used. I'm using two of them. So the negative that came in from the buck converter, I've actually daisy chained it from one to the bottom of the next to the bottom of the next. So that earth is on each of them. And the top one here, top switch here, I've got as a manual override for the temperature controller, so I can turn that manually on and off. So there's a, a cable that comes from the daisy chain, that top one there then comes along and also goes into the temperature control. So we've got positive and negative going into the temperature control. Also from the temperature control unit, I've got the fan connection which is there, uh, the temperature sensor which is here. I will be connecting the ribbon cable to the Raspberry Pi from the display. Now coming back to the relay unit 
If you look at some of my past videos, I've explained how to connect the uh, ribbon cable uh, to up to the Raspberry Pi that we have here. So I've got a ribbon cable, I've added uh, connections that will go onto the uh, pins, just, just soldered them onto this ribbon cable. So please look at that video uh, to understand how to use Octo Relay. Uh, that, that's the best thing to, to do. For me, in this example, I'm just going to be using the one relay uh, today, which is just going to control the LED lights. And also with the Raspberry Pi here, I'm using um, the connections here you see for a power on uh, LED and the smart switch which will uh, do a safe shutdown of the Pi. Now in a couple of past videos I've actually tried to have a, a mini display here. Unfortunately uh, that the, the script for that interfered with Octodash which I will be using. So I've had to dispense with that display and I'm just using the soft shutdown switch and a power switch, a uh, power, power LED rather. Uh, and some of you will know I originally had that mounted in the side of the temperature control unit. Now that I'm using a, um, I'm using a different type of temperature controller, I don't really have the room. So I've mounted the switch on the front here. I haven't put a, a knob on the end of it yet but actually I probably won't need to because it's, it's pretty flush uh, and uh, I think it's just as I need it. Right, so let's try putting some power onto this uh, buck converter, connecting up the positive, connecting up the fans, etc. As you can see, there's quite a lot laid out there and hopefully all will work. Okay, so I've just thrown everything uh, as you can see together it's not very pretty but it, it's functional so we have the uh, Prusa Mark III display we have the Ultra Dash display we've got the temperature display the Pi is there and it does have power to it it's actually connected to the Mark III there with the USB the relay there and that is connected up to the LED uh, and the temperature control is connected to the fans and then we have the buck converter. So obviously I've just thrown them together but there's enough cable there to actually put them in properly. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn on the Pi so let's start that. I turn the light off a bit you'll see it start up. Now I've set Octa Relay to actually um, turn on the LED lighting of the Prusa box uh, as soon as it's all booted up so with luck in a moment once we get the screen on we should have some uh, LED lighting turning on in a moment. Now the manual switch for the temperature control unit is t currently turned off so the switches are here. So I'll turn that on again in a moment. Hopefully we'll hear a click from the relay in a moment. There we go and the LEDs are now on. So that's working perfectly. So if I was to start a print and then once the print had finished the LEDs would actually turn off. So that's good and functional. Now the switch is buried here. Uh, I'm just going to turn on the temperature control unit there. Uh, I've got the temperature sensor. I'm hoping it might turn on. Hopefully you can hear that. So temperature control is working well with that manual switch. Again, you, you could automate it with the relays if you wanted, but I like to use the switch myself. So that's the uh, wiring that I would normally do. Obviously, 
I would have it nice and tidy along the side. Uh, I've got a few cable clips as well uh, where I need to clip things down. Have the uh, modular front mounted in the front section there. And obviously the buck converter will be mounted at the back here in the holder that you can print anyway from Prusa Box. So I hope that was helpful and just showing how I would be wiring up my Prusa Box um, so I can control the lighting, uh, the fan control. And obviously I've got another switch there that I can use for other things if, if I want to. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, please do a like and a subscribe. That would really be appreciated. And I've got some uh, exciting news on um, another enclosure. So if you want to hear about that, which is coming up probably in a week or two, then please do a subscribe and you'll see what I'm up to. Something uh, quite different. Okay, great. Take care, guys.